Welcome to Richmond Park. We're ready for the return of the SSE Electricity League after the international break. It's St. Patrick's Athletic against Drogheda United. Tim Clancy has named the same 11 that lost 2-1 in Derry two weeks ago. It means Owen Doyle is back in the team, as is winger Dara Burns, fresh from his first Ireland under-21 international call-up. Jack Scott at right back also featured twice for Northern Ireland, including in a friendly recently against France. For the Wayside Draw, the United their manager Kevin Doherty has made one alteration to the team that won in the Loud Derby, and that comes in the form of Evan Weir in in place of the injured Adam Foley. Keep an eye out for number 17, Dean Williams, who's looking to score against St. Pat's for the fourth time. He's actually a St. Pat's fan, former Shamrock Rovers player, and scored here for Longford Town last season. So a strong drugs team and a strong bench is for both sides as well. Say the four defenders, Gary Deegan's obviously strong, but uh, so they would be wanting to play sharp balls into feet like that. Good pick up from, from Nugent again. Yeah, here's Evan Weir, and he's going to return the favour back to Nugent, who's got himself down the side here. and. The clearance is going to fall to a Drada player, it will do, and it's 1-0 to Drada. It's Dale Rooney to open the scoring here at Richmond Park in the 17th minute and give Kevin Doherty's team the lead across to the Drada fans, about 150 here tonight. And the drugs, first blood, Brian. Well, it was a catalogue of errors from a Pat's point of view. Good build-up initially with Darren Nugent and Williams down the left-hand side. But when the ball was played into the box, Joe Redmond has to come out and confront them a lot quicker. Puts the ball across the box. Adam O'Reilly makes a poor touch. Here he is getting on to it, Darren Nugent. Look how late the players are coming across. The Adam O'Reilly missed kick. Then it hits off... It's off Gravosti and, and falls for him. Sharp move, Rooney coming in from the other side of the pitch, doing what the attacking player should do. Get yourself into the box and, and sticks it in at the near post. Stuck with him sometimes, and other times he finds an opposition player as he did with that last one. Great run here by Anto Breslin, who's eaten up the ground here. Wow, what pace by Breslin. And it's a great cross in him. It's Forrester to Owen Doyle. Oh, good strike, good save. Straight at the goalkeeper, Sam Long. But what a run by Anto Breslin, Brian, down the side to create that. He must have ran 80 yards with the ball, at pace, dribbling, and really good stuff. Yeah, and he got the cross in too. You see replay of it now. Gets it into the box. Forrester arriving. Didn't quite fall for him to hit it first time. But he finds Owen Doyle where it goes for the shot. And both that struggles, Rod, at the moment, rather reasonably content with it. That's King to Burns and a brilliant skill again by Burns and it's crossed in a little ahead of the front post. But one of the draw the defenders in the end just took it out. He got out of the path of Owen Doyle and the final way to Mark Doyle. But Burns will certainly be happy with his work so far, Brian, and he's looking at danger every time he gets the ball. To take these set pieces to Roosting, but they've played very well in the first half. Here's Williams again. Actually, he's the winger. Oh, what a, oh, great what a pass. pass. It was Dale Rooney with the pass. From the right, Dale Rooney great coming save. in off the throw in. Very sharp little move, but simple and should be tracked easily enough. When Pants have the ball, the box, they're leaving Adam Murphy on it, trying to do do with Forrester. Tries a diagonal pass into the box. Here's Burns, who can't shoot from range, as we've seen earlier in the season. And James Clark was the one trying to get the block on and just wide, but I think for a moment or two Sam Long was a little bit concerned maybe about that one. Good to see them get, getting shots. Dara Bourne's coming on the inside. Second shot in a couple of minutes. One from Ben McCormick. Clark getting across and not allowing them to see too much of the goal. Who plays it to Forrester and across to a bank. I Pat's keeping good possession of it and they'll hope that the patience will lead to a space to create a chance but that draw to two blocks of four as Brian has said sometimes a block of four and a block of five have made it difficult to create proper chances but that's a great it's ball by ball. Ben McCormick oh, it didn't and it was Mark on. Doyle probably in a great position and flicked it maybe got too much on it Brian it probably just needed a yeah, softer just touch need a little glance they only need a little glance the goalkeepers come out off his line foot following the track of the ball good play Ben McCormick sees the run lovely little pace on the ball but he gets too much on it as a winger's header when you're forced into playing wide and playing cross in the box and I think draw the probably allowed allowed themselves some leeway on that one it's a chance for Ben to yeah Burns comes off Burns comes off the side to McCormick to Breslin it's a great, great ball oh, great goal. and it's 1-1 to Sarah Burns 
Hughes equaliser in the 77 minute at Richmond. Patient play by St. Pat's. Lovely ball down the side. Great cross in. Burns gets himself across the front post, Brian. And after that, cracker in the opening night at Talker Park against Shelburne. He's got a second of the season. It's 1 1, game on. Well, I've said, I've said it two or three times. Don't take Dara Bournes off. He's, he's capable of a bit of magic. Ben builds her up. In fairness, presence has been good in the second half. That's a tour really good cross, but what a run that is. Space behind there. Yeah, it's, it's Chris got space over here. He's saying it's trying to be too precise with it. Ben McCormick. Oh, God. Not so good. That'll be that, that's the it. final action. Arthur Bresnan's had a good game. Just miscued that one as referee Ben Connolly blows the final whistle. And it finishes St. Patrick's Athletic 1, Drawley United 1. Uh, really disappointed, Jimmy. Um, we can see a really poor goal, it's a mistake. Um, we're snatching out a lot of things in the final third, but just poor on our behalf. And then um, we go behind, uh, and we've got into a lot of good uh, positions tonight, but again, just snatching at things and missing the target and just trying to smash the ball as hard as he can instead of just passing it into the corner. And um, It was really frustrating, and we get a goal through Dara. It's really good, and... Um, we push at the end, but we just don't have a little bit of quality. We're just panicking in, the, in, in, the, in and around the last final ball and whatnot, and it's just really frustrating.